This one's for you, Luke. So it seems that you think that our vehicle should be scrapped, and I've already put a reply to you. And you replied, it seems though in the last few years it's not been properly on the road and it's so tatty, etc. So rather than me type out a massive essay for you, I thought I'd reply to you like this. Not that you'll probably watch it. So let's go. We've had the bus for two years. The first year we had electrical faults on it and a few other bits that needed doing before it could even have an MLT. But while we had that, we also had two other vehicles at the time. So money was spread across them. Now we've only got the one. We got the first year's <coughs> ticket on it, and then it has been out on the road. It's been out on the road a lot more than what you actually think it's been out on the road. Because we don't, funny enough, film everything, and all the times we're out on the road. It's done several long trips, several long days. It's ran Newton without missing a beat. It's been, it's been fantastic and reliable. Now, before we got it, 2013, it, well, it was retired in 2013, it's been sat, it's been used on Tockworth Motorsports for occasional crew movements. So you might as well call it pretty much stood there for 10 years. Near enough. 9, 10 years. So, there's going to be a few issues. Now, the chassis is good, the engine is good, it's just a few mechanical sections that lets, us, lets it down. Yes, you're going to get rot, you're going to get rotting fuel pipes, you're going to get rotting ATF pipes. ATF oil, when it sits, eats pipes. Coolant eats the seals. It's going to happen. We expect it to happen after we've done this as well, because it's been sat for several months without the engine being turned over. So, it's good. There's no point in scrapping a perfectly good vehicle. The only thing that's let it down is a little bit of rot, and that's because mud flaps are missing. So, the fuel tank rotted out. Great, we just replaced the fuel tank. The fuel pump came loose and then cracked. We have just replaced the fuel pump. There's, there's no point in scrapping a bus because that breaks when you can get a perfectly good part to go on it. So, I don't get what your point is. It's going to happen. These are old vehicles. That pump might have been on that engine since 2005 when it was overhauled. It might have been on it before that. It's had its lifetime. It's old. It just needs refreshing. So... I don't get what your point is, really. All these things we expect, and we expect it even now when we take the bus back out. Yes, the MOT ticket's expired when we get a new one. We're going to expect maybe a few problems because it's been sat. It's, it's typical. As regards to it's so tatty. Now, I don't know whether you've noticed anything, but... We've worked on the outside of it. We've not ever shown any work inside apart from tidying up. There's a reason for that. We'd like the vehicle to be mechanically sound and presentable on the outside, considering I've all done nearly 90% of the bodywork on it. Then mess about with the inside. We could have a nice sparkling inside, but the engine might not run. What's the point in having a sparkling inside? You can't show it off because the engine doesn't run. There's no point. So we want to get all that sorted out first. Then we'll start on the inside. We already have our plans for the inside. Funds depending. And hopefully, it's either next year or the year after, the whole flooring, all the wood, everything's coming out. And it'll be replaced. And that will give the clean finish to it. Because it will be a fresh, clean install. We'll be able to do all the pipes, pipe work outside the bus. Paint all the chassis that you can't get to. Paint all the backs of the seats, the, the legs, everything. So it will look really clean and crisp and finished. But there is no point doing it while we're traping in and out with oil. 
sorting out the outside. There is no point. So I'd like to see what you say to this. Because the whole thing is a work in progress. That is what a project is. This is preservation, not magic.